It's day three of the Democratic National Convention, and Fox 5 is there. Tonight, Vice Presidential nominee Tim Waltz and former President Bill Clinton are headlining. The third day of the party's choreographed rollout of both the new VP candidate and Kamala Harris's pitch to voters. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald is live at the United Center. Fitz, what's ahead for Governor Waltz tonight? You know, in a lot of ways, Shamari, Governor Waltz faces two tasks tonight. On the one hand, he has to introduce himself to the country. On the other hand, he really needs to deliver home a lot of these messages that the Harris-Waltz campaign is trying to get across. And the number one message from the Democrats' perspective is that a second Trump administration, they feel, would not be good for the country. So to that end, the governor takes the stage tonight uh, really uh, right after he is going to be accepting the Democratic nomination for vice president. Now, unlike yesterday where they had that, you know, uh, dramatic roll call vote, uh, this is going to be by acclamation. So basically, they will ask the convention, do you want Tim Waltz as the vice presidential nominee? And they will say yes, and then it will be official. It's been official weeks, for, well, because uh, they actually did that for real back in August. Now, folks might not realize Tim Waltz actually spent a few years in Washington, D.C. He was a congressman from Minnesota, and folks who have served with him, like Virginia Democratic Congressman Don Beyer, tell Fox 5 that Waltz was one of those rare individuals in these highly partisan times who was actually able to form relationships with both Democrats and Republicans on both sides of the aisle. Very smart, very funny, and a really good guy. A yeah, great heart. And I'm hoping that what they'll see from him tonight is and not just the, the quick blushes, the high school teacher, the coach, the governor, um, but the full sense of his life. All right, before we go on, I am compelled to tell you that the one and only Stevie Wonder is rehearsing his performance uh, tonight. So that's what you're hearing in the background. It is not a recording. It is actually Stevie Wonder behind us. Wow, Fitz. You get like a full view of a concert right now as he uh, prepares. Now, how hard will it be for Governor Tim Walz to match the energy of last night's speech from Barack and Michelle Obama? Uh, Shamari, it ain't going to be easy. You know, the Obamas blew the roof off this place right now. And you consider who's on the program tonight. It's not only Governor Tim Walz. Uh, Bill Clinton is going to be speaking and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. So, you know, there's a lot of big names. And, you know, Tim Waltz is somebody who's going to be up there tonight. And, uh, you know, if he can bring it, uh, he's going to stand right side along with them. But, you know, it was an incredibly emotional night last night. There's no doubt about that. All right, Fitz. Thank you.